Jason's at it. Well, after six weeks of renovating, we're open for inspection. And thousands of people have turned out here to Bondi to get a sneak peek inside the all-star houses. Our teams have worked their guts out to finish these homes, and tonight is the night you've been waiting for. Tonight, all four homes go under the hammer at auction, and we'll find out which team takes home the grand prize of 100,000 bucks. And just as importantly, the title that they've really been working for, the winner of the Block All-Stars. This is it, folks, the grand finale. Welcome to the Block! Tonight, the house is finished, my bags are packed, I never want to wear these again. Six long weeks of renovating hell come to an end. It's been a pleasure living next to you, mate. Good times. But it's not over yet. The tension was pretty high. The all-important reserve prices are revealed. The reserves are set. There's nothing we can do about it now. We're feeling the pressure. That could mean the difference... I thought that I may pass out. ...between going home empty-handed... ...your reserve... ...and winning... ...is... ...at least $100,000. The blockhouses are open for inspection. How many are here? This is amazing. I'm getting a little bit nervous. And people turn up in their thousands. Blockomania. Hey, guys! I feel like the Pied Piper. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Love it. Your house is the best. Thank you. Oh, give us a hug. Ah! Go, Go ah! With the houses completed... Ultimately, we're here to sell to the public. ..and our all-stars ready... ..all they need now are the buyers. There's 8,000 people out there and probably someone that'll end up owning this house. It's anyone's game. It all comes down to the auction. Here we go. 1.3 million in the call. What are we saying? One four bid. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. To see who will win. First time caught a 75 and bid now. Is this serious? All finished. The first ever block all stars. What? Here comes Last night, our all-stars faced their final judgment. Exteriors. Our winners are... Bill and Amity, Mark and Duncan and Dale. <laughs> the competition is now over. And after six weeks of hell, these blockheads have earned a bit of a lie-in. Very nice to wake up this morning and know that the hardest challenge we've got today is to just pack our clothes up and tidy up the house a little. So that's a challenge I can... I can, uh, I don't know what I'm saying now. Do? <laughs> But curiosity soon gets the better of them. They've heard what the judges thought of the exteriors. Time to see for themselves. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey. We've come to see your backyard. Uh, oh, wow. Look at this. Final day. Wow. Really cool. I remember when we presented the kitchen. This is all just no decking. Remember, this is all just, like, wow. framed up. I'll cook some breakfast for you. Oh, oh. he's got the... <laughs> there you go, Dan. Have a... That awesome. thanks, mate. <laughs> this is awesome. Their whole deck area 
and the plants that they've chosen is just, yeah, it's spot on. Their, it's very lush. their barbecuing um, sink looks great. Yeah. He Josh made that himself. It's very impressive. And I like the garden beds with the herbs and the little um, veggie garden. And yeah, I think they've done a nice job. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, hello. hello. Don't you have a ladder on your side? <laughs> we just, Dale said, quick, someone showering. Yeah. <laughs> Josh did a really good job on his cabinetry with the barbecue that he built out there. Um, it looks great. It looks like a professional come and did it. And um, the little walls on either side in the, in the greenery with the gardens as well that they built up look really great. <laughs> Oh dear, the neighbour, the neighbour's coming. Come to see the Woody Yard. Oh, look at the koi! <laughs> wow! I told you we needed a lockside gate. Idiot. <laughs> big one, big this fish. This is awesome. I feel like I'm in the tropics or something like that. Yeah, no. Is there real birds in there? It flows well, doesn't it? I'd definitely buy this house over our house. <laughs> no. Yeah, I would. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and I'd buy yours too. Am I meant to say that? Uh, I, yeah. I, I yeah. wasn't yeah. expecting that. I love uh, Dale's gardener he designed. I think it's um, such a beautiful thing. It's so nice when you see on the deck. It's like you're looking into a beautiful landscape picture. Mark and Duncan's, or Dale and Duncan's, definitely the best, and they were clear winners for me. I thought our backyard was the best. I thought Dale did a great job. Uh, I think it has the most um, comfortable feel to it. The boys' backyard feels like it's been there forever. Yeah, it feels They're like really... you're in Bali or tropical Queensland. We wanted to have the whole deck be something that is visually wonderful to look at from lounge chairs, and I think we've achieved that. But as Jenna said, it, there's no good having, you know, 30 or 40 square metres of land that's unusable, so um, it's probably a big risk, but I think because it's so beautiful, that counteracts that. We're not interrupting, are we? Okay. Just having a moment of peace. Nice. Oh, look at this. How are you? How are you? How are you? So it's very simple, but we just wanted it to be family friendly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's definitely a family friendly house because um, and pet friendly because there's already a dog poo on your front lawn. It's just our pet. You see? Yeah. <laughs> But I saw Dan carry it down from his lawn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They've got the platter boxes around the side, they've got the deck and the barbecue area, and, and I think that's all you really need in a backyard. What they've done with the bench seating, I think it just works so well because they've obviously got those um, palm trees that they had to work with, so they've done an amazing job. You know, I think that Phil and Amity did a really good job, but I, I still think that Duncan and Dale should have taken this one home. Phil and Amity's backyard, drawing with ours, they're completely different designs and um, uses of the space. It did seem pretty simple, um, but that, often that's what you need to do with a, with a backyard design that's for a family because you need the space and you need it to be pretty clear for children and pets. So I think they did really well. Very spacious. <laughs> there it is. Biggest backyard on the block, this one will be. Nice. Yeah. So this is where Neil wanted to shower naked or something yes. awful? Yes. <laughs> where? <laughs> or something awful. Nice. Cool. Hot water. Is it? Yeah. Oh, jeez, it is instantly yeah, warm. It is, isn't it? Dan always said that they weren't going to spend a lot of money on the garden because they'd run out of budget. So he said, we're just going to have lawn, that's pretty much it. So there was pretty much lawn and, and just a few plants around the edge. Oh, very nice. This is the awesome. This is so beautiful. Look, I'm content with coming last. I can see that ours is a bit plain to the others, but in saying that, I think our entertaining area is probably still the best. There's the 360-degree um, ocean view. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, I can see just, it through there. A there's and Kelly Slater just there, and um, <laughs> there's the backpackers just there on the beach. What's it like up there, mate? You're about a foot taller than everyone else. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a bit of a leafy outlook, but there's no ocean. Don't you worry. Before the doors of the block are thrown open to tens of thousands of fans on open day, the residents of Tasman Street are invited round for a few drinks and a chance to meet the blockheads. I'm Daddy. Yeah, my husband could fit in there. This is a real living space, yeah. yeah. The barbecue is so close, it's just, it's a great living space. This well is a paid endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Urinal. Well, it keeps the girls happy because the toilet seat stays 
Do you like this as your bedroom? No, I bet you would. So just run, yeah. must run straight out. Oh, okay, into yeah. the garden. So sort of she really bringing really the well. indoor outdoor seamless living, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Joshua, what do you think? I think it's worth cool. Yes. You like your kids' room? Wow, they've got our bath. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So, with a big thumbs up from the locals, the time has come for the blockheads to grab their toothbrushes and head out before we open the doors of the block for inspection. Yes, I do feel cleansed now that I've thrown my paint-covered clothes away. I never want to wear these again. Or these. I intend to not paint again for another 10 years. The spirit of Mark definitely still lives on in this house. Oh, there, old mate. I bloody thought I'd give you those letters to the judges that you wanted to um, send off. Don't forget to pack them. There's definitely enough hair in the shower left to um, remind us that he was here. Dear Shana, oh, you weren't you want too bad, Shana. Uh, dear Darren, rubbish, rubbish. Anyway, mate, let's get these things going. We'll get out of here. Jeez, you packed terribly. Bloody hell. Nothing more fun on the block than packing. I mean, seriously, I, I don't even know what we're waiting for. The house is finished, my bags are packed, and yet I'm still here. I think you should wear it. I don't think they're going to let me on the aeroplane like this. Well, hopefully we have seats apart. Okay. <laughs> oh, and of course, can't forget me, mate. You can have your bed back now, mate. I'm sorry. I didn't change the sheets, but you like it dirty, you old bugger. Oh, dear. Long time ago we did this room. Off we go. Righto, let's go. See you guys. It's been a pleasure oh, living next to you, mate. Right? 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 We all went out the front and had hugs and said goodbye for the final time. Uh, they all jumped in their Suzuki's and drove home. They're all stars. I mean, I was left there as if I was a blow-in, so. Um, no, it was all good. I, I knew I'd have to probably hitchhike home to Victoria. It was funny. Coming up, Lockermania. A rock star welcome. Oh, give us a hug. Oh! As the fans are blown away by Phil and Amity's place. We love Phil and Amity's. The mezzanine floor is a touch of genius. Love it. Go Go team! Team! As we prepare for the All-Star auctions tonight, it's time to jump in, vote and have your say. Which All-Star couple do you think will win the block? Download our Jump In app and vote now. We'll have an interactive update before the auction start. No Over two days, 15,000 fans and potential buyers flock to Tasman Street Bondi to check out four painstakingly restored Federation semis and meet the block all-stars. How many are here this early in the morning? It's like, eight <laughs> it's like Beatlemania. How do you explain it? It's just so weird. Blockomania. It's blockomania. I love that. <laughs> blockomania. This is blockomania. Who thinks Phil and Amity can win? <laughs> I'm going to go run down and give him a high five in the line. What do you reckon? It's your dream, hun. I'm going to do My dream becomes reality right now. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming. Woohoo! Oh, give us a hug. It's bit and polish. But nobody will be as critical as I am. Except maybe six-year-old kids. Yeah. Yeah. First photo of the day, thumbs up. So we all pumped, we're ready to see the houses. Yeah. Who's gonna win? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now declare the block. With this house, all of the ideas are mine. 
Uh, and then Amity goes, okay, well, I'll just go and buy stuff. Do you believe that? I don't know. <laughs> I think they can win it. If it's not them, the boys have to win it. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here to tell everyone you're all going to be able to come through the block. We're not closing the block. Stay in the line. It might take a little bit longer. It's pandemonium. The biggest crowd ever. But you'll all get to come through. And I'll be there with this pen to sign your stuff. Hi, how are you? Good, we love your house. Thank you. This is Amity. Oh, hello, Amity. This how are Amity. you? <laughs> yeah. Sold. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely loved the bathroom. And well, I'd love you. for you to be the next judge. On the block. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's have a photo. So... Oh my god. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my <laughs> I love you. You're annoying. You must be so proud. The key selling point of this house is what it is on paper. I think that's the most important thing. It's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, mezzanine. You know, on it's paper. It's a big family home, close to three beaches, and you know, there's three bedrooms, there's two bathrooms, there's a study, there's a beautiful big backyard, and like what the judges said last night is that it's the best family home on the block. I think it's a winner. We Pretty came well. into this massively as the underdog. Okay, are we ready? Let's do it. I don't know why we're back. We're we'll back because it's it. another chance. It's a chance to do all of the things that we would have liked to do better last time. Oh, sweet home. To redeem ourselves and not come last. Yuck. Help! I had many, many sleepless nights not knowing if we were going to be able to do this. I need to sort out the fireplace, the window thing. I've kind of been the project manager. What if on the other side of it, so the living room side, we did that? Because I had a vision with what I wanted for the whole place. So if they asked Phil, he'd just say, <laughs> Talk to go my on, wife. Yeah, go and ask Am, she knows. Amity had a vision. I definitely think that we could win. Josh and Jenna. But for three long weeks, Mark and Duncan, it didn't pay off. Phil and Amity, it's Chumpsville. Hilarious, isn't it? Hilarious. What can I say? Not much. No. But in week four, they took their biggest risk and converted their formal lounge into a third bedroom. Third bedroom or maybe future sitting room or maybe study? Yeah, definitely a risk that we knew would either pay off big time or flop. flop. Phil and Amity. <laughs> in week five, they delivered a kitchen plus a mezzanine office and a combined laundry and second bathroom. Another risk, another win. This high was short-lived. All right, Dan and Danny with the power of the chalk. When we started to, to get some wins under our belts, Josh said to me in particular, he said, you've got a target on your back. Dan and Danny take a point off Phil and Amity so Josh and Jen get the win. Josh and Jen up. In the end, despite some cheeky chalk work by the Jen Wise, Phil and Amity won two challenges, three room reveals, more prize money and more points than any other team. I'm very excited about Phil and Amity. I have a feeling that they might just be creating the house that I want to live in. Phil has driven me nuts on occasion when there's been a lot of work to do and he's just stuffing around doing some practical joke. Hashtag fail, um, OMG, LOL. Ten years ago, I was actually Gen Y. And now I'm Gen Y. Am I doing this? Have you actually painted anything yet? Yes. Like, feel free to keep chatting for the next hour, but we do have to be finished at midday tomorrow. If he worked as much as he talked and mucked around, we would have done this in two weeks. The first season, I was really hopeless on the power tools, but here I've used all sorts of tools. He's going! Look at him! This is a spirit level. No, that's not the right tool. Despite Phil's newfound confidence on the tools, oh. it was Builder Brad who was there for them every step of the way. Hey, Brad! To make sure the dream was delivered. Oh. And a newfound bromance blossomed. Don't tame the beast, let the beast roar. I think he's got a real personal attachment to this place. This backyard is going to be gold. It's going to look amazing. <laughs> This house will be unbeatable. <laughs> this is 
his vision as well. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I remember. How am I still married to him? Honestly. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. That was a terrible high five. Again. We've driven each other nuts in some moments, but mostly we've had fun. And it's been interesting to be Phil and Amity again because now we're mum and dad. Yeah. We're just kind of explain how proud I'm of my wife. Oh, Beautiful lady. <laughs> To just be us again, has, it has been nice. She's, she's done such a good job and she works so hard. We are really tired, we want to get and see the kids right now, but bring on the auction. Yeah, bring on the next stage. And let's see how we fight. It's been great, it's absolutely great to see all the development that's been happening. We love Phil and Amity's. <laughs> Phil and Amity's house is beautiful. Absolutely love the use of the space. The mezzanine floor is a touch of genius. We've done our best. It's de delivered. It's there. Everyone's and it makes here. it all worth it. When all of these guys come through and say, we love your house, it makes that really hard slog worth it. We could do anything. And it's also about getting big bucks at auction. And their real estate agents have been working hard all day to snag the buyers. What was the verdict? What were people saying? Well, we had a bunch of people have asked for our cards and our details because they want to come back. It's a good, good response. Really good response. I reckon there's probably three or four genuine people at it today. Uh, and, of course, everybody coming through will love it. We could do anything! Coming up... I feel like the Pied Piper. Yeah, I love him. The fans are wowed by the boys' house. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And by the boys themselves. There you go, we're going. Okay. All star tradie Mark had a health scare early on, but there's absolutely no way he was ever going to miss this party. Big crowd. Yeah, that's big crowd. Do you think they've seen us? <laughs> I'm getting a little bit nervous to tell you the truth. <laughs> there's a few there. Okay, you ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Absolutely nothing going on in here today. This will be fun. After botching some crucial styling elements in their first crack of the block... Looks like they've just taken it out of the package and thrown it on. Mark and Duncan entered the All-Stars with a very different mindset. We were coming back to prove that, look, designing isn't particularly that hard. Well, surely that goes with any style of furniture. So we think... <laughs> Let's get shopping. This time we're out to prove that, listen, we're not as bad as what everyone thought we were. Can you have too many horns in a bathroom? I say not. Sold. <laughs> as well as a focus on design, they also realised there needed to be a division of labour. The kitchen along that wall. Probably our biggest realisation was the fact that um, you had to stay out of the whole design process. Let me out! Let me out! I'm, I'm designed bankrupt. <laughs> I hope you're going to iron that. I thought I might go for the butterflies. <laughs> as long as we did all right in the first two to three rooms, we agreed it could stay that way. Otherwise, we were just in deep trouble. I want the oh, oh, oh. Wow. It's absolutely amazing. I was absolutely thrilled the first week when we actually came second. It gave me confidence, I feel, to go even further on the next room. That's a better. Oh, shit. How cool is that? I was proud as punch uh, to find that we actually won that room. Wow. wow. This is crazy. Mark and Duncan. Oh, well done, boys. And again, that gave my confidence to then move on to the bathroom, which I actually feel we should have won. I love a massive horn in the bathroom. While some other contestants played it safe, Mark and Duncan were determined to create thought-provoking rooms. That is great. Do you like what I bought? They can't say we're boring. That's right. What Dunk's done in all the pieces all around the place is, is fantastic. Oh, look at that. Is that not impressive? What about the bed? It's just floating in the air. The kids will love it. That's an iPad. <laughs> this kitchen is totally nuts. Now, that's art. 
There's something you remember from every room in this house. That is unreal. From the front door to here's a journey, and it's an interesting journey that you'd remember your whole life. And you won't get that in the other ones. Yep, what these boys have on offer is certainly unique. But will the punders go for it? I feel like the Pied Piper. You're having a good time out there. The rumour going around from the other real estates is apparently ours is the house to beat. So uh, we're thrilled. And if you believe that, then great. Couldn't uh, believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're really excited to see the boys' house. We got here at 2.30 this morning and slept on the concrete ground out the front. The things that people like to come and have a look at are the, you know, the big chair and the big clock and the big deck and our horny bathroom. Horniest bathroom on the block, let me assure you. Uh, young lady, what do you think is the best part of our bathroom? Oh, oh the horns, totally the horns. The horns, there Love we go. The so horns. we're hearing it here direct. And the necklace show, I might actually pop in and try it on. You should do, that would be great. <laughs> so, see you, we're going to try okay, it on. Right. <laughs> that goes really well. Wow. Love the pond. Love the pond. Love Koi the fish, pond. gorgeous. Yeah. I love the boys. I hope they win. Who would have thought to put like a huge thorn in the bathroom? It, it works so well. <laughs> but I would put one of these in my house for the other half. He's begging to put one of these in our bathroom. <laughs> it's, it's always great to hear what uh, people's response is. We'd love to hear how many people actually do like the urinal. A party atmosphere may not be the norm at open for inspection. Who likes the urinal? Sure worked for Mark and Duncan. Let's see how many people we can fit in our shower. Yeah, yeah I think we, we should go. do it. That's three. Go That's three sedentary. We've never seen this many in a shower on the block before. We're up to 20. 21. Quick, quick, 21. I this can't is believe huge. it. I can't believe it. It's a Volkswagen. Massive. Look at this. There's 8,000 people out there and probably someone that will end up owning this house. Yeah, the feedback in particular for this property has been extraordinary. Wow factor. Wow. Yeah. Wherever yeah. you look. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Uh, the kids love the kids' room. Yep. So if anyone is coming in here looking at seriously buying this house with kids, it's a, it's a no brainer. Whoa! I like the chains. This is the room for boys. What do you reckon, guys? Did it deserve the win? Yes, yeah, definitely. And you, yes. would you love this as your room? Yes. Yeah, it's a floating yes. bed. What do you think of the skateboards on the wall? Yeah, I'm loving them. You should be going along boards, but. I really am speechless. That is just good on you. As well as being a hit with the kids, the boys were very popular with ladies of a certain age. Help me, help me. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mark, you've got to stop doing this. this. <laughs> you've got to stop doing this. It's done a great job. It's beautiful. This is as good as we can do. So, the boys' daring approach to design is working. But their creative highs were punctuated by some big lows, particularly when they were chumps three weeks in a row. They weren't impressed. It's unfinished, it's nothing. They were really disappointed. Uh, I think the difference is we look good in it. Yeah. But as the weeks progressed, the pressure mounted on our two jovial tradies. It's worse. I don't think we're going to make it. Why? Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. Where the hell's Keith? It's been probably the worst week of Mark and I on any block. And this series, they were haunted by personal tragedy. In a few days' time, Mark's wife, Jan, goes into hospital for a major operation. She wants me to keep going. She doesn't want me to stop. And though she recovered... Beryl! Great cut off the Beryl! Sleepless nights and relentless grind of the block. I'm losing it here, so I can't grab it on the side. Began to take its toll on Mark. I'm ready to throw in the towel. It's just hard to recover. I miss the girls. And I miss Jan. Both families have been through a lot. Mark's been through a lot. And uh, I think he got a wake up call. Oh. And I got a sort of a tightness in my chest, and I just generally felt unwell. You all right? No. My head, I feel really bad in my chest. No one wants to see this happen to anyone, especially your mate. He doesn't right deserve time. to have a hard time. It scared the pants out of me. Fortunately, Mark was fine, but we weren't going to take any risks. And as much as Mark wanted to come back on, his health came first. Mark won't be continuing in the competition. 
seriously this game, was it not the highest and lowest of probably life that I've come across? Luckily, Dale from last year's block was ready to jump in and fill the void. We really didn't know each other that well and we clicked very quickly and we won two challenges. The Backyard won $15,000 and more. Very powerful dynamic team. So go us, go us. Yeah, go yeah, us. Yeah, 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 we won three challenges. Who else won three challenges? The young ones, the kids, you know, like... We go right for old blokes. Coming up... International pop sensation Ed Sheeran gets hearts fluttering. And the auction is... First time going to 75 and bid now. Get hearts pumping. Is this serious? What? All finished. All silent. How would you like to own your very own piece of the block? Head to 9msn.com.au forward slash the block and follow the links to the block shop where you can find great deals on products used this season. But if you close your eyes, it's the block open for inspections and Bondi is heaving with blockheads hoping to get their first look at the renovated properties. And as the first groups have gone through to inspect Phil and Amity's and Mark and Duncan's, I thought I'd throw in a little surprise for those patient punters out the front. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr Ed Sheeran! Thanks, mate. Over to you. Good on you, Ed. Hello. Pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. And if things go wrong, we can knock it down. My three words have two meanings, but there's one thing on my mind. It's all for you. Mm -hmm. And it's dark in a cold December, but I got you to keep me warm. Broken now will mend you And I keep you sheltered from the storm That's raging on now I'm out of touch I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm out of sight I'm out of mind I'll do it all for you in time And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm gonna paint you by numbers and color you in And if things go right, you could frame it and put you on a wall now And it's so hard to say it, but I've been here before Now I'll surrender up my heart and swap it for yours Now I'm out of touch, I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down And none of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind I'll do it all for you in time None of all these things I've done I think I love you better now Don't hold me down now I think the places are breaking And it's more than I can take Oh, and it's dark in a cold December, but I got you to keep me warm. If you're broken, I will mend you, and I keep you sheltered from the storm that's raging gone now. Now, I'm out of touch, I'm out of love. I'll pick you up when you're getting down. And none of all these things I've done, I think I love you better now. I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind. I'll do it all for you in time Out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now love you, I'm out of touch, I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down Out of all these things I've done I will love you better now 
Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ed Sheeran. Thank you so much, Ed. Well done. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thank you. Well, how about that? How good was that? It's now Melbourne couple Josh and Jenna's turn to open their doors to the public. Jenna, 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 Jenna. I'm not getting out of bed. Okay, I've got no pants on. <laughs> For our youngest couple ever to step onto the block, newlyweds Josh and Jenna didn't take much convincing to do it all again. Oh my god! We came back to do the block again because we have nearly finished renovating our place. We feel like that we've learned a lot and we'd like to show people another side to us. Alright, this could be Jenna. Ready? <laughs> this is block one to block two. First room is a goal. <laughs> we also had a lot of time to think about what happened on our season and what we could do differently. It was quite a disappointment last time to not sell our houses at auction. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be passing the property in. I think this time we're here to prove that we can we can do it. So this time round, Josh and Jenna designed their house to appeal to the broader public. Ultimately, we're here to sell to the public, so you know it would be good to get the criticism. Yeah, I'm hoping that everybody loves it. And that's exactly what they're doing. The overall, the whole house was gorgeous. It's just not start from the back all the way to the front, and it surprised you everywhere you went, which yeah. room you went to. So it looks very clean, very neutral. But um, yeah, I think it's fantastic. Really, it's inviting. I think Josh and Jenna's is the high up there, out yeah. of the top two. I think they'll yeah, have a chance. Absolutely, it, it just feels expensive. It feels like the most valuable house. The majority of buyers are showing interest are uh, young couples yep. around sort of 30 or 35, yep. and also some baby boomers, sort cool. of, you know, retirees looking to downsize. Yep. So yep. we've got three contracts out to younger couples cool. and one out to a baby boomer. So awesome. yeah, it's a good start. We're really happy with that. But it's uh, a real positive day. Everyone's been really happy with the quality yep. of the fit out, the kitchen, the bathrooms, yep. the vertical garden. Yep. Everyone's been really happy. There's awesome. been no negative comments at all. So cool. it's been really good. Since the block 2011, Jenna has started studying interior design. I think it needs to be higher than that. One that has a green tone in it. And this couple, once known for their bickering. Get out. <laughs> I dare you to come back. Can you not paint like that? Why would you hold it like that? So frustrating. We're keen to show the judges and Australia awesome. the new and improved Josh and Jenna. This is the house of Zen. I think our style's really matured now. Just like us. Just like us. Look, look we've changed a lot, and I think our rooms say a lot about uh, who we are now. Uh, uh. Josh. As soon as we came into the block, we knew that we were doing a different style. Our first room was a big risk for us because that was setting the tone for the rest of the house, and if the judges didn't like that, we were going to have to rethink our whole game plan. Wow. I'm actually shocked. Josh and Jenna have really grown up. Josh and Jenna! Oh, we won the first room, which was a total surprise. Winning the first week just gives you just a little bit of enthusiasm to make the house the best you can make it. The next week we won was bathroom week. I know how we can win this week. How? When the judges walk in, if you're nude in the bath. Idiot. Oh, my God. Glamorous again. Josh and Jenna! Two and one. And while they celebrated their wins... I'm bored. When the judges' criticism came thick and fast... Conceal freezes. Why? We needed a bit of visual surprise this mm. week. It was hard to take. I can't stand that. They missed the old Josh and Jenna, who had fun with their rooms and showed some of the old Josh and Jenna flair. Unfortunately, that Josh and Jenna didn't sell a house at auction, Scotty. The judging us totally unfair. I'm totally happy to take on constructive criticism, but I'm not happy for them to pick stupid things when we're obviously on a tight budget. If Bondi wants yellow floorboards with blue and green cushions, we need to leave this competition, and Dan and Danny need to leave this competition, because we feel like we're better than that. But when it came to Kitchen Week, the team that uses the least amount of power will get the power of this. The block became a battleground. I was talking to Danny and we came up with a little bit of a plan. We can't afford Phil and Abney to win 10 grand again. There was a lot of controversy because it ended up being a tie between Josh and I and Amity and Phil. Our bonus point was used for us to ultimately win. We don't feel like we won the kitchen. We feel like we tied the kitchen. It was hard taking the money off them. 
I'm tired. You get stuck in this thing called a block bubble. When something like what happened to Mark happens, it pulls you out of the bubble. He doesn't deserve to have a hard time. It's not worth it. We all sort of took a step back and went, wow, we need to have a little bit more fun. <laughs> How much fun are we having? Are you having fun? I'm definitely going to miss Dan and Danny. Well, you two dress the same, you goose hits. <laughs> but they're only far away, so there's going to be a lot of catch-ups. I think it will be a beautiful home for somebody, and I can see how people will live in it, and that's really, really important. I hope that it makes a really beautiful house for someone. Oh, I am so stoked that we came back. It was a big decision whether we should do it or not. <laughs> We've had some of the best times of our life and some of the funniest moments. I'm sure Josh and I will be talking about this experience for the rest of our lives and telling our grandkids that you should have seen what we did back in the day. Coming up, Dan and Danny give the people what they want. Keep on arguing. Oh, we will. We can do one now if you want. <laughs> star houses are officially open for inspection. Over 20,000 fans have braved the weather and blocked Bondi streets for a sneaky peek. And for many, it's a chance to get up close and personal with their favourite team. Now it's Dan and Danny's turn to show off what they've achieved in six short weeks. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. That is so cool. You guys are awesome. I think Dan and Danny's is the best house in the block. Keep on arguing. Oh, we will. We can do one now if you want. Uh oh, I'll try. Don't even look at it. Oh, no. It's staying. Dan and Danny hit the block all stars with the same spirit and metal that we came to know and love in the block 2012. I've got a big creature over here that I come across every morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, the first few weeks you're so fresh and it should be the easiest time on the block, but for us it wasn't. Um, we struggled. We've only renovated one house together. So hearing all these comments that we haven't evolved or we haven't changed, we don't, we don't know any different. The thing is, you have your style, that's you. It doesn't matter if you do the same. You've lost hope, but you never know, the judges might love it. The door can't go on. Why? Because it's swapped them over. No! I hate this room. I hate everything to do with it. Hate it. They struggled with the heritage brief. Heritage stuff. Out with the old, in with the new, that's what I like. And came up chumps two weeks running. Chump time! Woo! Chumps! We've got the most chumps out of anyone in history ever, so we deserve permanent chump hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it's the last. Got to be good at something. Bathroom week we knew we had to get right. I think we both woke up that Monday morning saying, this is our week. I put the Rocky jacket on that week, I think. And... <laughs> Danny and I are back, and we're going to give you a Rocky Balboa. Ho -ho! Here we come, Rocky Balboa. No more chump. Yeah. <laughs> Without being too cocky, we nailed it that week. That was the first week where I really thought, I think I'm getting the hang of this again. <laughs> Dana Danny! But they would have yes. to wait to the final week until they notched up their first and only All-Stars room win for their living room. Big storm's on its way today. Now, I don't know if that's the weather storm or the Danny storm yet. I'll figure it out. We're comfortable in our relationship. Um, we don't mind if we have a little blow up here and there. Um, we won't hide that from the cameras. It's not a spaceship. It's well, a that's why bathroom. you're not designing it. Well, ugly. Oh, so just do it, Dan. All you do is f yak, yak, yak. Don't f tell me what I can and can't do, Dan. How do I clean this? I don't know. Use the flusher and the steel walls. They're installing the laundry on Wednesday. There's no room to move. We can only get done what we can only get done. I'm not having a conversation with anyone right now. Sorry. One way or another. 
the um, roles did change a bit this year. I was more of the psycho <laughs> this year. Um, I don't know what happened. It was just no, it's seemed good. to be firing up at everyone at one stage in the middle there. Don't get all your high horse about that. I'm not saying that. I haven't just... held Daryl up at all. If you want to have a fisty cuff, mate, I'm more than happy to go on the ring. Don't well, touch said, me, mate. Hey, don't touch hey, me, I swear. Mate, the way you've been carrying on to me the last few days. What have you been carrying on? Hey, I beg your pardon? But for all the arguments, there were plenty of laughs. Morning, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I feel violated. So do I. <laughs> Particularly with best buds Josh and Jenna. Josh, how are we ever going to hide out there? Watching, always watching. <laughs> and I think having Josh and Jenna here this year was amazing, and I couldn't have imagined getting through this um, without them. This year, I wish we had enough money to be able to bid this on this house because <laughs> I love this house. Last year, I didn't love our house. This year, I love this house. It is a house that I could see myself living in, so it's going to be hard. We've all done the best that we can do, all four couples, so let's hope that we can all just walk away with um, hopefully not only a bit of money, but um, with lifelong friends. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely to meet everyone. It's just been a roller coaster two years, that's for sure. Been a great two years. Yeah. Hey. Oh, g'day, buddy. How are you? Way to go. Oh, unbelievable. I cannot tell you how many people have said to me that you guys were unfairly judged. Oh. Really? And they, and they absolutely love the greys. Oh. For, for Danny and I today, it was just um, a relief that we feel we've delivered a great house. Mm -hmm. And the people are saying that to us, are saying we love your house, we love the flow, we love the colours. It feels bigger than the other houses, which is really we're good getting, to hear. We're getting great response on the detail in particular. Yeah. People saying we have the best detail, which is amazing because we've put so many man hours into that and so much energy and so much love. And I think my favourite feedback from today is that people feel it's got a great feel to it. It feels really calm. It appeals to the senses. And that's what we want. We want to appeal to the emotional bias so people do get emotional about yeah. it and want our house. Do you reckon a few buyers? Yeah, them all? I've had a couple of people ask me for my business card and they oh, want to great. have a private appointment. Yeah, so, um, great. That's handy. There, so. I handed out some show bags to people over the fence that couldn't come through oh, that were right. interested. So, oh, yeah. that's handy. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fingers Good. crossed then. Good day. We build upon this momentum now, we don't do. we? We do. Let's do it. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. It is out of our hands now, but I believe the hands that it's in are more than capable to get us across the line. Absolutely. But, you know, at the end of the day, everyone's getting great feedback. So, it's anyone's game. But before our main game begins, one lucky home viewer is about to unlock the door to 25 grand. We've got some auctions happening very shortly, ladies and gentlemen, but before we do that, for the past six weeks, iSelect have been running a competition for one lucky viewer to take home a cool 25 grand. We've got our finalists up here on stage, and we have got Jan and John, Henrietta and Luke, Kerry and Richard and Rachel and Mitch. We're about to find out who's going to take home the 25 grand. Are we ready? You're about to get a taste of what it's like being on the block. <laughs> In front of me is four keys. I want you to come up here and select a key, take it to the block houses, test it on the front door and see how it goes. One of these keys will open a door. If your door opens, 25 grand in the back pocket. You ready to go? Yep. 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 All righty. We're going to start with Jan and John. <laughs> OK. Select a key, Jan. That one. Yeah, one. Yep, that All one. All right, head back there. Henrietta and Luke. Never been to a key party before. There you go. <laughs> Well Kerry and Richard. Big choice. Hopefully lucky last. Lucky last. All righty, we've all got a key. 25 grand on the line from iSelect. Yeah. Head to your front doors. Is everybody standing at their doors? 
Yes. 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 Yep. All right. Stick the key in and turn it on three, two, one. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Kerry and Richard have just won 25 grand from iSelect, <laughs> turning the key into house number two. Give them a big round of applause. Yeah. Coming up, before we can crown our all-star champions, first we need to know where the reserve prices are set. We just want to get it over and done with. I thought that I may pass out. This is what we've all been waiting for. Your reserve is... And the all-important auction order... No-one wants to go first, we're willing to go first. ...will split old alliances. Tension was pretty high. We're friends with Dan and Danny, but it was unfair if one couple got what they wanted in the auction order and the rest didn't. Everyone goes at lottery, I reckon, and it's fair all round. 